SolidWorks World 2014 just wrapped up. And Chris was there. Not everybody was able to make it out to sunny San Diego. Well, someone had to work while you were in the sun. Could use some color. So here's the top five things you missed from SolidWorks 2014. Oh, I, I, I get it. It's like a double entendre of like me. They didn't get it, they weren't there. I got it. Mark Forge presented a 3D printer that can increase the strength and reduce the weight of parts. By printing layers of carbon fiber, the company has developed a new composite for 3D printing. Though the parts are high quality enough to throw right on your Ferrari, prototypers out there will find this useful as well. The prints can have as little as 20% carbon fiber, but the parts are great at simulating metal components. NVIDIA has been working closely with SOLIDWORKS. And the company's grid server technology shows it. This system brings a new meaning to the cloud. Yeah, it's a grid, not a cloud. Thank you. You're welcome. The grid can be accessed by users from anywhere, allowing for emulation of SOLIDWORKS software. Well, it's sort of like emulation. Up to eight users can simultaneously access the seats, but all the work is being done by the grid. So there's no need to carry a workstation with you. Any old laptop will do, even a Mac. SOLIDWORKS on a Mac? Yep. Yup. Yup. Heresy. Garbage. Crap. Hugh Herr gave an inspiring keynote to close out the first day, where he rolled up his pant legs and revealed his biomechatronic ankles. Using technology that he developed, Herr's prosthetic ankles tote five microprocessors and 12 sensors. They model the muscles and reflexes of his missing legs. So by walking slowly, the prosthetic gives a bit of resistance, just like a biological ankle. Or while speeding up, his ankles give him a bit more spring, like this. Spring. Just hold on to that number two. What? My number, my number two. Just wait. What? Hold on to my number two. We can't stop at three. This is a top five. What's the problem? We couldn't pick between these two. They're both just awesome. Wait, when did, uh, when did that happen? What? A second ago, we were talking about the- You're ruining the illusion. You're ruining the illusion. You're ruining it for the readers, viewers. They're watching this. The Eat Art, the Eat Art, or Eat Art, Eat Art. The Eat Art organization took over the main stage and showed off its Mondo Spider. Which was pretty cool. Pretty cool? Play the clip. It's really cool. It's really cool. It's a little older, but now it operates on electricity. And the group also showed off the interface for the anti-robot project. A giant tactile controlled robotic suit. Well, the beginning of one. Woo! Robotics at its best. Stratasys announced the company's latest printer. The Object 500 Connex 3. Big deal. We already covered a 3D printer that lays down carbon fiber. Yeah, but the Connex 3 has an array of up to 46 colors in one print with a choice of 10 color palettes. And... And hundreds of composite materials. In the same printer. High res, multi-material 3D prints, and tons of color. That's tons of fun. Yeah. It's a big deal. It's a huge deal. It is a big, it's a huge deal. It's a huge deal. For David Manti, I'm Chris Fox. And we'll see you at the next show. As long as it go. Otherwise, I'll just see you on this.